Hi everybody, Cynthia here. I'm back to share with you guys some of the ribbon candy ornaments that I created for my crop show that's coming up. I did some plain uh, red ones with crystal beads and then I did some blue ones down here and then I did some striped ones that look like you know the original um, striped ribbon candy. So I'm going to go through and show you a few of them quick and then I will have a tutorial at the end of the video in case you want to make some for yourself. <clears throat> so I'll start off with the uh, red ones. They have crystal beads in the centers. I find that the crystal beads kind of um, just ha give it more stability. So that's why I beaded mine. Um, there are some that have been made with thread and no beads. They're just as pretty, but I chose to do mine this way. Um, and I used wire instead of thread. I just think it, it holds up a lot nicer. But I have a crystal bobble hanging from the bottom and then my beads in between my loops. Crystal bead at the top and then the hangers that I have used for them. I got these at um, Walmart in a pack. They were like 97 cents a pack, but I think it's a lot prettier than a regular um, hanger. But that's what it looks like from the front and then that's the side view. This ribbon here um, was actually celebrated ribbon that I got on clearance last year. It was this stuff. So I thought I'd give it a try and use that. Those were These were some of the first ones that I made. And then I decided to use some of my blue and silver snowflake ribbon. So that's what it looks like on this end. I made little ones. There's a little snowman charm. In the center there's blue beads. And then the top I have a silver bead. And then that's what it looks like from that angle. So you really, they're fun to make, um, but you really have to play around with them to get the loops, you know, pretty symmetrical and even. See this one I kind of messed up, so... I'll go through and play with them again. And when you store them after Christmas, you know, when you bring them out the following year, you're going to have to, you know, sit and fiddle with them. So that's why it's really good to have a wire edge ribbon to, to work with to use for these. And then this, these are some of the striped ones. I made some bigger ones and some smaller ones. That's what they look like from the side. I like, I think the striped are my favorite because they look more like the original ribbon candy. These were done with pearls. Okay, so I'll show you how to make actually this striped one here. It's about six inches from, from the top of the ribbon to the bottom, um, the way I measure it out. And across, it's an inch and a half wide in case you want the measurements for that. So I'll show you guys how to make, I made this one. Oh, and before I do, the bottom here I used wine. You know those wine charms you could put around the stems of your wine glasses? I took a few apart, I picked up at a yard sale and I hung the charm below. And then I actually used the wire to create my hanger on the top. So I thought those turned out kind of cute too. Okay, so let me let me get on with the tutorial for you. You're going to need a ruler, definitely, and a pen for marking. I'm just using my black jelly roll pen. The wire I'm using, I don't know the gauge. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I had this in my stash a while. It's a little bit thicker than floral ribbon or floral wire, but I have used floral wire too. So, you know, if you want to gauge it that way, you can. I'm going to measure off about seven inches so that I have plenty, maybe seven and a half. So I have a, you know, plenty of room to work with here. So we're going to go with seven and a half piece, seven and a half inches. And to create the one that's about six inches long, I'm going to measure out 24 inches of ribbon. Probably should have had this already cut off for you guys, but. And it's wire edged, okay? I'm almost out of this stuff. 
And let's see, I started out with a little less than 30 feet. <laughs> I really, really used a lot of it. Okay. So what you're going to want to do is lay your ribbon flat and center your ruler. Okay, so you can do your measuring in the center. Sorry, that's hubby calling me if you hear. And you're going to want to put a dot with your gel pen. Oh, let me, let me aim my camera down so you guys can see what I'm doing. I centered my, um, my ruler and I'm measuring about every inch and a half I'm putting a dot in the center of my ribbon. Okay? So you're going to measure that all the way up. Every inch and a half create a dot. So one and a half, um, three, four and a half, six, seven and a half, nine, ten and a half, and twelve. Okay. I'll start it all over again because I have to do the rest. I'm going to line up my one inch mark and we're going one and a half, three, four and a half, six, uh, yeah, seven and a half, nine, and ten and a half. I don't need to put one at twelve because that's the end, okay? So then you're basically going to weave back and forth, back and forth, okay? So at the bottom here, I want to create my loop so that I can hang my, my charm from it. Um, let me get an O-ring. I forgot to get one out, guys. Sorry, I'm a little unprepared this morning. Here we go. Okay. So I'm going to take my round nose pliers, and I'm going to create a loop at the bottom so that when I'm finished, I can hang a charm from it. Okay, so I created my loop at the bottom and now I'm going to start my weaving. So I'm going to poke it my wire through where I put my mark. Okay, there we go. I'm going to put a clear, clear crystal bead on. And then I'm going to poke it through again where I made my second mark. Okay, you've already created your first loop. Put a crystal bead on. Then you're going to loop it back over this way. Okay, where you made your third mark. So you're basically weaving back and forth. Okay, put another bead on. And like I said, you could do these with or without beads. I just like prefer mine with beads because when you hang these on the tree and you turn the lights on, all that light's going to shine through all those crystal beads and make them, you know, sparkle more. And I think they'll look really pretty. So we're going to go to our next mark and weave it back. So you already have some loops made. And pop on another crystal bead. Go to the next mark and poke it through. Okay. There's going to be a lot of adjusting <laughs> your loops and your wire when you're finished. <clears throat> so you really have to have some patience to play around and create really nice loops so they're nice and even. But take your time with it. Once you start making, like you get to your second and third one, you kind of start really getting the hang of it, and they go a lot quicker for you. But in the beginning, like my first one, ugh, I had such a hard time with it. And then uh, once I got the feel for what I was doing, they went a lot quicker. Okay. 
and poke it through where that mark is. See, that's why it doesn't matter if you, um, you know, use a black marker or or whatever you use because you can actually see. Oh, I can't find where my la my next mark is. It must not have went on there. Um, you you'll poke your wire through and then you won't even see that mark that you made. Oh, there it is. Okay, let me just remark this. So somehow it didn't get through. Okay, inch and a half. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. So if you basically have the gist of this, you can fast forward if you'd like. I'm just going to keep weaving so that you guys can see, you know, how we're doing this. And that's why it's really important, too, to mark it off with the ruler because you want your loops completely uniform and even. I wish I had, but I wish I knew how to edit and fast forward and all that, but I don't. So <laughs> you'll just have to bear with me here while I play around this. I probably should have made one of the smaller ones for you, but you guys will get the the hang of this one. Some okay. Find your next mark and poke it through. And don't forget to weave back and forth. These would make really cute gifts too, like if you want to make them a really nice ribbon ornament and then maybe make a, a nice gift box out of, you know, cardstock and, and decorate it up. Gosh, that would be a really nice gift for somebody. And display it in the box. I love old fashioned type ornaments and uh, you know, more vintagey ornaments. And when I saw the ribbon candy, I'm like, oh, I gotta try this. So, took a little while, but. Okay, I'm poking it through my last. I'm trying to. I'm all thumbs today, guys. I'm sorry. Poking it through my last one here and pulling down. So, not only are the beads gonna shine really nice through your ribbon but they're also there to keep it more uniform but you see how this is all messed up you're gonna have to go through and really play with it and get your loops even afterward so I'm gonna put my bead topper on the top and I'm just using these three plastic beads here the star looking ones to create my topper and I see my batteries running out so I'm really hoping I don't get cut off Okay, I'm going to trim off my excess wire, create my loop at the top so that I can hang my hanger. And then basically, okay that's good, okay, so now you have a loop in there, if you guys can see that, that you can put through your hanger. And then I have some excess here at the top and excess at the bottom. So I just kind of pinch them together and get my scissors. Pinch them together and I trim them off to create those little banner ends. And then I'll just roll those ends up too when I'm done. So do that at the top and do that at the bottom. You can, you know, finish yours off anyway, like, that's just how I do mine. Okay, and these all roll down this way. Okay, so now the trick is to just play with it and try and get it even. So pretty much just take my, my fingers and my thumbs and I push them in and pull on them and pinch them and start creating my loops. So you're like pinching and pulling pretty much at the same time. And this takes a little while to, uh, this is where the patients come in. So I really did get frustrated the first one I made. 
Okay, so that's that's pretty uniform on this side. So we're going to do the same thing on this side. Put your fingers in. I like to lay it down, pinch and pull. Put your fingers in and pinch and pull. So I'm pinching down and pulling out to try to keep it more uniform. But that's something that you'll have to, like I said, play around with and, and get it to where you want to be. But that's pretty much it, guys. That's the ribbon candy ornament. And if you have any questions, let me know. Um, and have fun creating yours if you do. Take care. Thanks for watching.